Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna step back from painting and we're going to do a little bit of product photography. And uh, these products are gonna be shown online. So if you're thinking of opening up a store or have a store and you wanna upgrade your photos, this is kind of a, a little tip or behind the scenes that you can use so you can do this yourself. If not, you can always give me a call and I can help you uh, you know take pictures of your uh, products. So for now, let's go ahead and get started and let's check out how I do the setup for the uh, photography. So the setup is going to be fairly simple with stuff we can buy at the 99 cent store and stuff that we have around the house. It's nothing crazy, nothing professional, but because we know how to light it up, uh, it's going to work um, the same as if it was a professional setup. So we're going to start off with two pieces of foam core which I got at the 99 cent store and I'm essentially creating an L shape, one for the bottom of the table and then one going straight up horizontal and I'm using um, L brackets that I had laying around and I'm basically just using um, you know clips and uh, little clamps there to hold it together. To avoid the bottom a piece to lift up and move around I just tape the corners this way it's not moving around. I just kind of created a little um, curve um, connecting the bottom and the top together. This way um, I don't have any shadows in that corner. For lighting I'm using the same lights that I use on my other videos uh, and I'll have uh, one on the top, uh, one on the front uh, left and then one on the front right of um, the table. As well I'm doing this in my kitchen so I have all the lights around me turned on so I have a lot of light and I think uh, these lights cost me like $20 each and I got them off of Wish but I'm sure you can get these on Amazon as well let's go ahead and take a look at the main tripod for my main light that I use all the time so essentially is a stand uh, for a light um, but I converted it and added some other additional stuff to it so I added a weight so it doesn't move I also added a power supply on there because there's I'm always using power whether it be you know for the compressor and stuff like that for the lights powering the phone and stuff like that so I added that on there um, obviously the lighting that I got was from China so I had to get a converter and that's what you see there and uh, yeah so there you can see I can charge my phone while I'm uh, videotaping as well and then it has this uh, elbow here so then I can rotate um, the top portion and move it in any degree so I can have it horizontal and do top views or I can move um, the uh, the uh, the head and the light so uh, there's a lot of pieces there that, that I just kind of put together and um, you know with time it just that's what turned out to be I have this other uh, third light that uh, can do multiple colors and can do white um, uh, regular light and obviously like a you know warmer tone if I wanted to so that was 80 bucks and got that off of Amazon and it's a pretty good purchase and have been using it for a long time the power supply on it is, is awesome it lasts forever so this is the camera I'm gonna be using to take the photographs but I just wanted to show you kind of with the lights on to showcase kind of what um, the item looks like under lighting. I had my third light on a stool which is, was too low for me so I got another little stand and pretty much just took off the top and um, screw on the, uh, the actual light itself because uh, you can do that. All right, and my setup is pretty much done. Um, all I gotta do is just put the camera on a tripod and uh, start bringing out my products and start figuring out my angles. So to keep my products uh, in the same angle, I drew a 90 degree lines on the actual paper itself and that kind of gives me a little guide and lets me know where to position the product this way. They kind of stay consistent uh, throughout the photo shoot. So I'm gonna clean all of these photos in Photoshop and try to get as much as the, uh, the, the you know, things I need to clean up in Photoshop and then I'm gonna come back in Illustrator and cut out the entire product. So I'll have a clean white uh, background on all of these products. So I don't really care what's going on around it. I just wanna get uh, the proper lighting onto the actual product. So just as a reminder, just make sure you have your three lights. You have your overhead light, you have a key light 
which is your main light, and then you have a supporting light, uh, so in, in total probably about three different lights, and you should be good to go. And that's pretty much it with any simple uh, lighting system and uh, you know some white background and just a little bit of innovation and moving around, you should be able to get some good photos uh, for your product and your website and anything that you're selling. So that always sells is the photos, so make sure you uh, take your time and get your product looking as neat as possible. All right, and there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys wanna see something else. If you are planning on creating uh, your own store or you need your products reshot or anything like that, give me a call. I'm on Instagram at uh, Designer Ernie, and you can always uh, direct message me there and uh, we can talk there. Or uh, you can let me know and I'll give you my email address and you can uh, talk to me then. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon and uh, take it easy for now. Bye-bye.